Uh-oh, Konami's delaying sets. You know what that means. Welcome to the Eternal Format. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on more excellent content. Today we'll be talking about the set delays and how this is going to impact, well, the early half of the 2021 metagame. And I must say, it's going to be eternal. Let's dig on into this, shall we? So your big set delays are basically going to be like this. So Ghost from the Past has officially been delayed to, what is it, uh, April 16th. That shouldn't surprise anybody. We we had already saw that this was already being delayed to a delay. Or, not delayed to a delay. It was being delayed already. So we were kind of already aware of what was coming with this. So we shouldn't be surprised to see Ghost from the Past getting pushed back like that. So early January, early February here. Um, you've already got Blazing Vortex, you have the Icebreaker Structure Deck. And then your next big product is in April. Huh. Okay, that's, that's interesting. I, I'm not too happy about that, but understandable. Uh, that pushes us to the deck building set Ancient Guardians, releasing currently on 5.5. Now you're probably like, all right, that, that makes sense. So you're literally going to go Ghost from the Past. Two weeks later, you get slammed with the deck building set, which hopefully will change up a little bit of the metagame at that point. You're like, all right, so what is that? Three weeks between each other? And then, well, we were planning for Lightning Overdrive to be revealed and released in May. Oh, boy. I got bad news for you. Lightning Overdrive now is releasing on 6-2 for tournament stores. Launch date 6-4. That is June. So what does that mean for the metagame? Now I'm looking at these sets and Lightning Overdrive isn't really much of a game changer at this point, but there's there's a lot to take in with this. So right now Drytron is currently running a monk in the metagame. Uh, February, we get Blazing Vortex, which is kind of not a good set, um, but you do get Pot of Prosperity, which will at least push Rogue up a little bit on the chopping block. All right, that's cool. Then we have the Ice Barrier Structure Deck. Cross your frickin' fingers. That cross out designators in there. Oh, oh, my fingers uncrossed. Yeah, that's that's how much faith I have. In that structure deck. If we get cross out designator in that structure deck, uh, we can the metagame will shift. Alright. I, I I I'm making this video because seeing the constant we look to Yu-Gi-Oh! to change up the format. Alright, like we don't like these stale points. Alright, let's so keep that in mind. So Ice Barrier Structure Deck is a dribble. Alright, now with that being said, you've been through January, now you've been through February. Pot of Prosperity is the biggest thing. Uh, and then the Goddess of the Underworld, God knows that. A wool rock's not going to do anything. So that puts us into March. Now March is when we're supposed to have our ban list. With that being said, if they can change the format in March to give Rogue a little bit higher of a chance, I can tell you that every Yu-Gi-Oh! player is going to be so freaking happy. All right, I know this format isn't as bad as it looks. All right, I would just like to kind of slow down Drytron a little bit. Incoming 35 videos by every Yugi tuber ever going, should we ban Ben 10? Limit ban 10 to 1? Ben 10 to 2? All right, trust me, it's coming. Right, real question is, is should Natasha be the one that's hit? But only real IQ people will understand that one. So at the end of the day, the eternal format that we've kind of stepped on into here, um, we get a little bit of a possible change in March, depending on how the ban list sets things up. All right, firewall rata possibility. Now we head on into April here. Um, we are going to have ghosts from the past. Now this would be where you would probably set up the firewall dragon errata in this set to make sure that people can get it. All right, this is probably, I think Ghost from the Past is going to be the only window that they can actually set up a firewall errata 
to allow it to be in circulation unless they release the errata through an OTS pack, which I, I could see they had to, but I don't really consider that much of a recirculation. I guess we could also do like they did with Cyberstein was what? I don't know. Was it Cyberstein? No, we got an errata on some card recently, and it took like, what, five months for the card to actually receive the errata? Oh, it was Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Yeah, it took so long for it to get the errata. So it was like, oh, we pushed it on out, and we were good to go X months later. So that was that was a consideration of all things there. So Ghost from the Past brings us Heratic Support, Sun Avalon, and some other, eh, I guess, interesting stuff, but these cards aren't like game changers. So, well, the ban list changes the imports from Ghost in the past. Possibility of can we finally get the final Code Talker support? Come on, Konami. I know you're holding out on us. So, if we import the missing stuff into this set, then that'll change the metagame a little bit. Now, we arrive, what, three weeks after this puts us in May? So, if Ghost from the Past doesn't change the format, you're still going to be dealing with the aftermath of what's set up in March from the overflow of the metagame on into, you guessed it, ah, the, the De Ancient Guardians deck building set. Depending on how this set goes, you're either going to have another month of a stagnant metagame or you're going to see some change. I have my fingers crossed that we will see a nice shift with the release of this set. Alright, like, hopefully... It's good. Ghost from the Past right now, in comparison to the deck build set, is the biggest one right now because we still got our fingers crossed. Cross out a designator in one of these. Alright, fingers crossed. Uh, so, there's that. And then we reach Lightning Overdrive. Those imports better be freaking good. Because if not, Scra Scrap Raptor does change the metagame. Yeah. Wee little bit. But there's nothing in that set that's a dominant banger. Alright, now depending on where they set up the next ban list, if they set up a ban list around June, I mean even even May at that point, it'll really depend on where the metagame swings. So my biggest concern at this point is uh, I don't like the daunting and the looming feel of the eternal format that kind of looms on us. You know, I'm not saying that these core sets are bad. There's just, it doesn't feel like between Lightning Overdrive and Blazing, there's nothing that changes the game at this point in time on its head. Now, I know it's really saying something because a lot of people are going to come and be like, oh, you just want power creep, Robbie. The game's finally starting to look good. I agree. I think the game is looking freaking good right now. All right, like, in terms of power down, we're doing an excellent job at toning down the metagame and fixing our issues. But at that same time, either we need to continue to tone back so other decks can step up, or you need to spice in that format a little bit. So the pushbacks, while I understand that they're probably mainly going to be because of Crash card recirculating, you know, the printing companies. I would assume having a lower staffing and things like that. I am glad to a degree that at least the construction of a ban list can help change the metagame. Good news is besides, you know, March, uh, we are, looks like, getting some sort of product every window we can, at least once a month. July, I assume, is probably going to be another barren month unless uh, they announce the Duelist Pack there. I could see them putting the Duelist Pack there or late August, um, which we, we could see that. Or um, another possibility of a ban list there. I'm also hoping that, you know, at least some high level event this summer, I'm really hoping that Konami will take initiative here with, yes, the delay of products, but once summer rolls out here. You know, we could pick a weekend and have a thousand some man event online or you know maybe have an online event twice one in june one in july that can last two days so that we can have a much uh, i guess a, a nice little sense of something because last year we didn't really have that sense of something uh the whole testing right now for the remote duels has been great i'm seeing good success with this it's just, unfortunately, I am the seven deadly sin of gluttony. You guys have seen how fat I am, and I always want more. So, 
I know Konami's doing their best right now, but more you can do it. So, metagame fatigue I'm worried about. Maybe I'm just freaking out a little bit, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, hopefully everything works out. Hey, of course it's going to work out. I'm just worrying. So, I like to talk about my thoughts. So, guys, please leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces later on. All right, guys. Oh, one more thing. Hmm. We are going to do Verse Cup 2 sometime. Maybe not soon, but we are going to do it this year. And I am going to make a really nice top cut mat for top 8. So stay clean for that, guys. Stay clean. Stay ready for that, guys. All right, peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well... I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.